Hey guys, uh, I wanted to uh, go deeper uh, into the conspiracy uh, uh, that we have come to know in the last few years that uh, how a uh, lot of ancient monuments uh, resembled uh, microprocessors and motherboards uh, in our laptop, you know, in our computers. So I wanted to really uh, dig deeper uh, into why our cities are uh, looking more like uh, a microprocessor in our uh, motherboards it actually the entire cities are now resembling a motherboard guys and uh, i was looking into lots of pictures like 50 to 60 images of motherboards uh, for a similar you know design but uh, slowly the you know uh, difference became blurred so i was very confused then i thought oh i am actually looking into in the reverse actually now what's happening is uh, motherboards are looking more like cities guys it's not the other way around that uh, our cities looks like motherboards <laughs> so i will it is a very big conspiracy like even the word conspiracy itself will be small to cover this gigantic conspiracy like i have never come across this uh, super conspiracy i will call this a super conspiracy guys i think this is the end game you know on earth uh, and you will be shocked because i think this is a chance for you to become a multi-millionaire as well because there is one thing that uh, i am 100 percent sure that the price will go up for that so i will go straight into it uh, like in uh, matrix uh, movie morpheus uh, says to neo that you are a mere battery but uh, nobody you know at that time like 10 to 15 years ago there was no much information we know about the chips and all but there was no <coughs> clear cut you know ways to define why uh, we are mere batteries for the aliens or the this uh, energy extraction matrix so uh, in last few years michael tellinger has made a groundbreaking videos i would say amazing videos on why he believes that uh, all ancient uh, sites looks like motherboards of a pc you know so he goes on to how the gold was extracted in south africa and he is he has a very good information on sound energy you know uh, so you i would really suggest you to watch michael tellinger and ancient alien technology and his related videos uh, it's incredible so you will have a um, more grounded knowledge on the, how sound is used to extract uh, you know minerals and energy from planet earth so as you know uh, like I, I keep on telling about alec newald and uh, ancient aliens and uh, blue it is uh, so he has also uh, made a uh, article very long article on you know why uh, he thinks that the earth is used as an energy grid you know all cities are merely you know capacitors and uh, resistors and mere microprocessors for advanced ancient aliens to suck energy from us so that word was uh, coined as loosh by robert monroe i believe so he goes uh, on a lot of detail by i picked up a uh, few points that i believe would be important for what i was like you know connecting the dots so i will quickly go through uh, these uh, words like so that you will get a grounding on what i am about to say what is a loose someone somewhere uh, requires likes needs values collects drinks eats uses as a drug as a substance a thing we can call loose this is a rare substance in somewhere and those who possess need loose loose find it uh, find it vital for whatever it is used for faced with this question of supply and demand someone decided to produce it artificially so to speak rather than search for it in a natural form he she it needs needed to build a garden to grow loose i believe this is planet earth guys from experience the collectors have evolved an entire technology with uh, contemporary tools for the harvesting of loose from the type 4 m uh, human units the most common have been named love friendship family greed hate pain guilt disease pride ambition ownership possession sacrifice etc on a large scale nations provincialism wars famine religion machine freedom industry so he is talking about the entire human society itself but this is is the core guys most of the you know temples in the ancient and our buildings are made of silica granite etc you know perhaps the fact that uh, there is uh, due in part to the materials in the construct of these ancient sites he is telling uh, all ancient sites all our buildings uh, produce uh, you know piezoelectric effect and there is a movement uh, i'm sure you know about what's called grounding you know 
uh, earth grounding barefoot there was a movement a uh, few years ago this is gaining a very good movement uh, all over the world that you just need to walk barefoot on, along beach or in your house so that it you get a lot of uh, good spiritual energy but unfortunately i think this is also part of the game guys this is a the extreme conspiracy you know so nothing what we know as spiritual or you know good things or bad things it's just a by product for them you know walking around uh, in garden what we think as good is uh, nothing but uh, creating piezo electricity in our bodies to be sucked by other form of uh, beings you know so he is explaining that when we walk on in garden so it creates some form of energy so also he says uh, like when we uh, why people remove shoes and you know shoes and uh, slippers while entering religious monuments uh, in mostly in uh, eastern countries so this is also creates a form of piezoelectric uh, effect in our body we actually we are like become generators uh, of this energy and he explains imagine a thousand and more worshipers are removing their footwear to enter a mosque or some other religious building perhaps all carrying at least a thousand volt of static charge so we are basically creating static charge and it is nothing but capacitor guys so static charge is nothing but a capacitor in a circuit board you know so capacitor and resistance uh, is, uh, i am not like you know an en engineer in uh, computers but capacitor like stores energy so these uh, religious monuments you know they are nothing but a form of uh, storing energy i will come the tall towers you know he then explains uh, why the tall towers uh, in uh, buildings uh, in cities and all are used uh, as a you know energy transmitter so this is a very good article you can see ancient sites in greek look like microprocessors so he is comparing so it's a very good article i will post a link so this is what he says is a transmitter ground transmitter uh, sending all our loose energy to some uh, other aliens he, uh, he says so this is what i wanted to uh, stress on and expand my further research because we knew as i made a uh, video few months back that earth was a silicon planet from the video there are no forest on earth video so earth was completely silicon guys but it seems that they have not stopped at uh, you know mining the entire planet now they are mining us humans so we are being used as miners now uh, mining uh, energy for energy extraction the chief raw material used in the manufacture of glass uh, consists of silicon dioxide with a liquid limestone and soda ash glass is an amorphous material with uh, which that means the structure of glass lies between the crystalline material and the liquid glass is often considered as a super cooled liquid silicon dioxide is mostly obtained by mining purification and processing of quartz silicon dioxide can be used on microchips this is what i wanted to sell Mo uh, stress on guys uh, we know that silicon dioxide is silicon chips you know mup microprocessors use silicon that is the same thing that is used in glass silica and most of our building materials come from you know silica itself so this is what uh, they are using glass so this is a very very big conspiracy guys you have you might have noticed that why most of the buildings are having glass you know you will be shocked the with the amount of uh, you know information there is when you connect the dots you will be blown away guys just give me few more minutes to explain reach there you know so this is the grounding thing so if you start looking now it may not look like that but if you start looking at you know super cool liquid is just water they are telling like uh, water has memory so most of the thing they are telling that computer chips will hold water now etc so every city has a park and a canal you know uh, like that so if you uh, go through the images uh, you will be very much confused this is what they call slots you know uh, to put other uh, like you know land card to other put other cards but these slots looks uh, to me like long uh, buildings and this is like a stadium so if we compare like this small stadium is the main processor this is where the rich people live and uh, uh, and then this is where the like apartment buildings like post soviet uh, <coughs> pre soviet times where people used to live in long apartment buildings so if we compare you know this is the 
thin uh, slot of microprocessors you, you can see most of the microprocessors have these long slots which i believe is nothing but the post soviet buildings that we are this is buildings is very common in western world you know even uh, in us the projects many people live in these kind of buildings and this stadium is what it is uh, you know uh, uh, this one uh, the stadium looking is like this the center of mupi where the highest mm -hmm. amount of energy and highest number of calculations is done so where uh, michael tellinger and uh, um, alec newall says generates the highest amount of energy because t in stadium there are thousands and thousands of people come and shout because they create lot of sound effect guy that is what uh, michael tellinger is saying in this video when you create a lot of sign things vibrate you can do lot of things with sound you know sound energy is incredible so here you imagine how many people speak all the time you know so sound energy is been extracted from earth in this stadium which is nothing but uh, this uh, uh, this looks very exactly like a stadium where a maximum sound can be generated and as you can see slowly the things will become very blurry guys i did not find a a picture of uh, uh, from above of long uh, apartment buildings but i am sure you might have seen these kind of buildings so this is what uh, you know this is so uh, and you can see this is the home of uh, many projects in america have these long buildings so they uh, look this will look like a coincidence to you now but uh, let me uh, uh, show you what actually the entire conspiracy i believe is uh, so slowly this is microprocessor but slowly you will get confused guys this is a building glass you know why glass is very central to all this conspiracy i believe even chemtrail gm is nothing in front of glass guys everything comes down to glass and how it is been used to suck our energies so i think no one has covered this information which i believe can even make you a millionaire or even kill you you know if this information everybody knows uh, i would really suggest you to share this as much as possible because this can break their entire matrix so you can see this uh, this will become blurry as you quickly see this is not a microprocessor guy this is a, a city uh, like a uh, suburban area uh, somewhere in us you can see this is a remote uh, city somewhere in the desert area more and more i as i mentioned like uh, when i was looking into the images of microprocessors and cities i was looking like you know the comparable image to discuss but then i found out oh i was actually looking in the reverse actually now the microprocessors are actually looking more and more like the cities it's not the other way around guys the cities don't look like micro uh, the motherboard the now the motherboard looks like more our cities uh, it's actually in the reverse way so i believe that most more and more microprocessors you know sd ka tiny tiny microprocessors they are using in uh, mobile phones smartphones they all look uh, very you know compact in design like this so if you look into the smartphone chips uh, i am very sure that they will look like this very compact and tiny so this is what uh, the uh, like most cities are this is where the rich live this is where the poor live this is a mall you know this is a stadium <laughs> like that we can compare and this central you know this is a mupi thing uh, but many roads we will never see a straight road even in cities you know so this might sound like a coincidence but i always used to wonder why cities don't have a straight road when they sell they tell that earth is flat you know flat or globe but you can see this uneven shape of the pound or lake if you think it's liquid then you can see in new york uh, you know central park uh, surrounded by chips and there is a central lake and if you look uh, they could have made this also square but somehow the lake is uneven in size like this you know so uh, every big cities you know you want to live in a, you want to make millions now i found out the key guys all cities with you know million millionaires is has a central park or golf course so there is a uh, reason why they put a open space uh this is one more uh, of like you know long buildings so two stadiums or factory like that this is where the rich people live like that but i will come to it this slowly it, be it becomes uh, a lot blurry where if you look if you look lot of pictures so this is what uh, michael tellinger says that you know these are just mere towers when you go inside without your shoes they are carrying energy and then when you 
pray to god that sound energy is tra- uh, transmitted to some place uh, is what he is saying you know so most of the things but this is becoming old guys the reason they are telling that the entire religion will go away you know no world new world order they are they are destroying you know the entire religion they are deliberately destroying i know uh, now we know you know uh, what's the reason behind the destruction of religion because we know uh, the new generations don't like to go to church and uh, you know they despise uh, all things religious but there is a far far deeper conspiracy behind that guys because this is old now the uh, time is for glass guys this most of you if you are working you know you are being uh, you will be aware of glass buildings this is now the real conspiracy starts guys most of the buildings you should ask why glass most of the buildings are uh, been constructed through glass guys uh this is the biggest conspiracy the glass as he, as he said uh, alec newald he is in touch with aliens so he is actually a, you know his soul is actually an alien soul so he can connect the dots so silicon dioxide is the thing which is used in glass as is used in microchips guys so this is what uh, we are living in inside a microchip more and more they don't want us to go to church because this is silica this is very crude form you know old form of a computer laptop this is the smartphone version of it you know so they want more most of us to live in uh, in a glass building and uh, i have mentioned a you know but uh, uh, a video on why southeast asia is the key to human evolution and golden age uh, southeast asia is the thing guys now i am more than confident about it because i also made a video on like why philippines will become the richest country and if you go to philippines Uh, what you know guys this is one of the largest casinos and it is completely made of glass all these buildings this one this is completely made of glass guys i cannot uh, stress the importance of glass and this dome they mention it is total glass this dome it's about to be completed actually this thing is totally made of glass and all the philippines buildings are been made of glass this is the article this website you know when they want when the elites of the elites of the elites when they want to pass on the information they don't make a very good website you know you have to dig deeper so i dig deeper and what you know construction glass mar- i was actually thinking you know if what if they you know the this office buildings are are or glass and the next stage will be they will stuff us into ga- glass buildings guys i was just thinking it as a theory you know what if our next living will not be in uh, even in concrete but in glass buildings you know uh, so then i connected the dot i thought okay if that is the case then the peop- uh, the companies the you know industries making glass uh, should uh, explode you know make millions so that is this is one of the <laughs> shocking article i have seen guys construction glass market what 115 billion dollars by 2020 can you imagine this guys this is what exactly i thought you know while looking at uh, the next 20 the glass if you want to become a millionaire invest in glass companies guys i uh, you can see there are a lot of uh, asahi glass guardian industries ppg i can guarantee my life to you guys and if you invest in these companies buy shares you will become a millionaire and again this 70% is 7 is showing to me Uh, i am sure i uh, no not much people will watch my video but i can tell you the biggest top tip of ever uh, uh, it will it will it will double triple in coming months all these companies profit will jump because this is the mother of all conspiracies asahi glass guardian industries they are all stock price will increase but you will never know it's very 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 subtle guys this conspiracy is actually very subtle you will never know when it when you when they hit you you know so it is nothing to do with trump or north korea or jesus or you know all this uh, religion etc the con- real conspiracy is about glass and silicon chips etc as you can see global construction growth glass market is expected to experience significant growth of 7% but you, i was uh, then again thinking you know if where is the most glass used if uh, all my conspiracies are lie or if all my conspiracies are truth then where would they use i thought that it will be in asia southeast asia you know because that is the core for these people you know the aliens so yeah even i wanted to cover this most of the futuristic cities are made of glass guys you know silicon material so this is also you can 
point out but this is what i wanted to show global construction glass market asia pacific held the largest share of 81 billion dollars guys can you imagine so southeast asia is consuming the highest number of glass in the entire world so actually uh, what i told about my predictions is coming i am able to connect the dot this is the area which uses the highest number of glass guys south asia pacific means uh, like even japan south korea also it includes but this is why philippines i am very sure there is a construction boom going on you might be aware but most if you go to philippines this is in philippines most of the cities are have uh, been made uh, by glass this is the one of the you know uh, areas in makati as you can see actually i was there in manila so i am aware most of the cities like 60 to 70% of the cities in philippines are been built this is bj uh, bgc bonifacio global city as you can see it is made of glass most of the cities the newly constructed cities are made of total glass guys as you can see this is the glass building glass building uh, most of, and they too have a you know park so this is the central these are uh, city building surrounding the park uh, this they all have big uh, glass uh, everything is glass uh, bigger glass mirrors you know so the key is glass as you can see <laughs> everything is they, they are stopped using uh, st uh, uh, this one uh, concrete anymore as you can see he says that in this video the the steel they used uh, like you know steel inside that is a very good uh, conductor of electricity iron you know iron and silicon dioxide is what it is and nothing else glass and iron most of the buildings are glass and iron so and then also i was like you know not sure like i wanted to go deeper and deeper because they this loose production is directly related to you know uh, uh, emotions largely what do you know guys i will filipinos among the most emotional people in the world you will be shocked philippines is the world's most emotional country the philippines is by far it changes goes up and down but philippines always remains in you know top 5 uh, top 10 country in the world but for a you know for a long time in a survey of 152 countries from 2009 to 20, 2011 gallup world found filipinos were the most likely to admit feeling both positive and negative in emotion this is what they are after guys as i said loose and they are been uh, most filipinos you know uh, they are always in number one they will they will become rich but the conspiracy goes more deeper into it i have already predicted you know uh, on may to last year 2016 philippines will be there but i was you know not aware of but uh, you know of the bigger conspiracy <laughs> behind it <laughs> so this is the reason philippines will be the richest country uh, because of loose and emotion they have the highest emotion in the entire world guys and uh, i think they don't want the uh, emotions that we need uh, there is some other things like arjun i made a arjun uh, message to philippines because all foods have become gmo so emotions change guys when you eat GMO, food gmo food there are a lot of emotions change so i think they want to extract that uh, emotion from the philippines because if you are in southeast asia uh, i was like very very confident that southeast asia is the key to humanity guys but this goes way beyond that i ever thought you know so yeah guys uh, look into all this uh, like uh, look uh, if you want to become a millionaire i can tell you even today like uh, most futuristic cities will be built by glass and steel you know this is the two key you want to become a millionaire invest in glass industries invest in asahi glass uh, japan guardian industries you will become a millionaire i am going to look into it because every building i can predict will be made of glass in future yeah guys uh, will not take much time you can research it further thanks